I got a house built in the early 70s, and the prior owner paneled the basement walls. I believe all they put in was plastic uh, between the uh, exterior wall and then put the studs up. What would you suggest of improving um, heat savings in the basement and over the house? The, dry, the uh, paneling is standard eight foot, so it would be easy to pull off, and I believe I'm just going to be looking at plastic and, and studs. Okay. Let me go back to this slide to show you then, uh, because that would be a good opportunity to really do it right. Um, find it here in a minute. Here it is. Okay. Uh, hmm. I'm going to have to go through this pretty quickly, but it's, I saw it was slide 18. Just bear with me for a minute, because you have an opportunity to do it right. Using blue board? Yeah. So here's, here's the system. Right against that concrete block wall, you put the extruded polystyrene. Blue board, it's blue, pink, or green. Attach Is that, that removing the, the plastic? Joe, yeah, there's remove plastic the, the first. You, okay. Yeah, yeah. Because this has plastic on it. Um, it's, it's covered with plastic. But it'll make it easier to attach this to the wall. If you keep that plastic up, you're going to have a hard time attaching this. So you glue this to the wall with adhesive that's compatible with foam. And then can you see how the wall is furred out here with two by fours? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm aware how to do that part. So, but okay, take the plastic take out. Take the plastic, the plastic out, cover out then you cover the wall with extruded polystyrene, fur it out, then fiberglass insulation, no vapor retarder. Don't put any plastic up and then cover it with paneling or drywall or whatever you want. It's very important you don't put a, a vapor barrier on here. It's a basement in case uh, in, a, in a summer day when it's damp and humid, if any moisture gets in that wall cavity, by not having a vapor retarder, there's going to be an exit route for it so it'll be able to dry. Right. Thank you.